inside of me. You better watch out if you ignite me. The road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caught, you're a big piss off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this or never getting bored. Loves the blood and gore. Always wanting more freedom from the source. They don't really understand until they feel the force of party. And if you start shit, you'll be heartless in the darkness. Torn apart quick, you left stars ripped. You'll be chewed up and discarded. And this world ain't right, won't accept it. Negative energy, I expect it. Once it's in your mind, it's infectious. So fight for your life and reject it. You better give me space, I'm protective. My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened. And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive. Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate. I expect it Once it's in your mind It's infectious So fight for your life And reject it You better give me space I'm protective My adrenaline spikes When I'm threatened And if you stay in my way I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs It'll kill when I'm desperate Go over it or not. I hope my mind is um sorry about that. So now that she's a rest in now I want to see. Now I will let y'all know about her. This fourth grade teacher. She is a monster. She is the Teenage teacher charged with raping boy at her home. It's Alyssa McCommon, 38, of Covington, Tennessee, had been under investigation after allegations of inappropriate contact with children under 18 when she was arrested on Friday, according to the Covington Police.
Last month, the Tennessee Department of Children's Services conned police about allegations of sexual misconduct that had been reported involving a teacher and a former student. McCommon, a teacher at Challenger Academy, was suspended without pay on August 24th after a parent came forward with allegations of abuse school. After that, multiple juvenile victims said they became friends with their former teacher, then began playing video games and interacting with her on social media, police said. That led to a comment allegedly sending inappropriate photographs and requesting sexual relations with the victims. I knew she is a fourth grade teacher. The comment is accused of having a sexual encounter with a boy aged 12 years or younger at her home in 2021, according to the Covington Police Chief Donna Turner. Covington Police Department detectives continue to investigate this terrible exploitation and abuse of these young boys. Turner said in a statement, we expect to also develop the investigation to determine accountability of other adults in this case, including those who are aware of the abuse and those who allowed or provided locations for such illegal acts. Authorities said there was no evidence that any of the alleged activities occurred on any school campus. During the investigation, McCommon admitted to communicating inappropriately with It is unbearable. It's unspeakable. And it's 100% preventable. I think that's why the detectives and we are so passionate about making sure victims are okay. McCombs' attorney as saying she maintains her innocence. We believe that it's borderline a witch hunt to social media and it's frustrating to us. Defense attorney Jer Mason said, What we're asking is that the public be patient and allow the justice system to do its job and not create further persecution on the alleged victim or on the family of the victim. McCom this was the first time she was arrested. McCommon was charged with rape of a child. It was being held on a $25,000 bond. Well, she's scheduled to appear in court on October 13th. However, it seems Mrs. Miss Common, Mick McCommon, was able to Bond out, hello, 25K, right? She ain't even make it to October 13th before she. Did it again. The Tipton County Sheriff's Office confirmed that it was working with the Covington Police Department on the case. It was continuing to gather evidence. Remember, although we work for the public and our citizens, our victims are a priority. The sheriff's office said in the statement, I assure you we're being thorough with the investigation and the process at hand. Only a few weeks later. What does this say? Don't tell me. Former Covington teacher accused of child rape arrested again, facing new charges. Yellow. Yeah, a former Co Covington teacher who bonded out and was released from custody in early September after getting arrested for child rape is now facing new criminal charges. Alyssa McCommon, 38, was arrested September 28th her home in charge with coercion of a witness, aggravated stalking, tampering with evidence, and harassment after contact contacting a victim. She is now being held without bond. She 
you should be a, as being a teacher, you know. Yeah, you should know better. The former Char Charger Academy teacher was arrested September 8th and booked into the Tipton County Jail on charges of rape of a child on a $25,000 bond. The next day, she posted bond and was released by court on the condition that she made no contact with the victim or any minors other than her own children. However, the CPD Criminal Investigation Division received information on September 26th that McCommon contacted the child using a former number. CPD said McCommon previously would text the victim using a code word to ensure the child was alone, often sending new photographs on Snapchat afterwards. According to CPD, McCommon used the secret word again and sent text messages to the victim, saying he would regret doing this and, admit and admitting to a sexual encounter with him. The actions of McCommon are not appalling but CPD is also concerned about this apparent violation of her bond conditions, Covington Police Chief Donna Turner said. Due to the nature of the communications, we are concerned others may have been contacted. We continue to work closely with the District Attorney's Office as to the revocation of McCommon's bond, as well as the additional charges that continue to develop. On September 6, the CPD announced the investigation into McCommon for inappropriate conduct with minors. An arrest affidavit said a 16-year-old student came forward to police, saying when he was 12, he stayed in McCommon's apartment when she performed oral sex on him without his consent. Covington police released a statement on September 8, saying there are multiple alleged juvenile victims who each stayed at McCommon connected with them after she was their teacher, playing video games with them, but later sending them inappropriate photos and asking them. And that's another story. You guys, I just don't know what to think about this world anymore. Twice in a month. I just don't understand it. Hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe, pimp me out, and comment below.